Hi, uh, this video I will cover connection pooling concept. Uh, before you watch this connection pooling video, uh, please log into my channel and watch uh, object pool uh, design pattern and object pool design pattern implementation. Uh, so this connection pooling is example of uh, uh, object pool design pattern so that I am telling to watch those videos first and then come and watch this video so that you will understand uh, this connection pool uh, video clearly. Uh, why we need uh, this connection pool? Uh, okay, so let's take uh, example of connection object. Uh, creating connection object is always the costlier op operation. Uh, so if there are too many connections are opened uh, in database, then uh, after that some request is coming to create a new a new connection object means uh, it will take more time and uh, uh, creating uh, the connection object will take more time plus uh, the database server will be overloaded and it uh, it affects the performance of the application so what we can uh, do is we can create the connection pool where we can uh, define uh, how many connection object uh, we can put it in the connection pool and that uh, suppose say connection pool has five objects uh, five connection objects and that five connection object we can share with multiple clients so that five objects can be shared with some uh, 100 clients and once the client finishes the database operation he, he or she has to uh, return that connection object to the pool so that it can be reused so we will see how we can uh, implement that uh, connection pooling concept uh, so here you can see connection and uh, it has connection method you have to pass the database string and it uses the connection uh, implementation and uh, here the main thing it is a connection pool object and the, what is the use of this connection pool uh, object is it uh, manage and maintains a uh, connection implementation so this connection implementation contains uh, contains uh, steps to connect, connect to the database and uh, this is responsible for communicating to the database and uh, uh, this connection pool object uh, always it will be a singleton and uh, if it is singleton then obviously that the constructor will be private and uh, it has get instance method so when you call this method it will give the connection pool object then you can access uh, uh, methods like uh, acquire uh, connection implementation uh, release uh, connection implementation and uh, set max pool size so this method you can access so once you get the instance of connection pool object and uh, pool size uh, suppose if we define uh, pool size as uh, 10 then only 10 uh, connection implementation object uh, will have in the connection pool okay and uh, suppose uh, client request uh, uh, connection object to the this uh, class so what this will do is uh, it will uh, call connection pool object and uh, it will get the instance uh, for connection pool instance uh, then it will uh, call the acquire connection implementation method so it, it basically it ask uh, connection pool give me the connection implementation method by calling this uh, acquire connection implementation and what this method does is uh, it will check the connection pool has uh, any connection implementation object uh, so if uh, any connection implementation object is there then it will return that connection implementation object to the uh, connection and uh, connection will use that connection implementation and it will do the functionality whatever it wants to do and suppose uh, when you call this acquire connection implementation that uh, the pool doesn't have a connection implementation object then what it does is uh, it will uh, it will try to create the new one uh, before creating the new one it will check pool size if uh, pool size is 10 and already uh, uh, already some 8 connection implementation object is there uh, then uh, then what it will do is uh, it will create the new one and it will send suppose the pool doesn't have that one and uh, suppose if we cannot able to create the new one so what this method does is it will wait for uh, connection implementation object uh, to be available in the connection pool so that is the work of uh, this acquire uh, connection uh, implementation so so this connection implementation object will be used by this connection object it do all the things uh, all the things related to database operation once uh, everything is finished uh, th uh, this client is responsible for releasing a connection implementation object back to the connection pool 
so to release it will call release connection implementation method and then uh, once you call this method that the connection implementation will be added to the pool so basically the client is responsible for acquiring the connection uh, ob connection implementation object from the pool and releasing connection implementation object to the pool uh, why we are releasing so that other client can use that uh, same connection implementation object we can reuse the connection implementation object and uh, so this is how uh, uh, connection pool uh, we can implement and uh, this is about connection pooling and uh, thanks for watching bye